What's up guys, Galaxis here, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Transformers Earth Wars. This is my free-to-play series, and we're just covering everything that I go through on my account to make the account stronger, and uh, just level all my guys up, all that stuff. And I also go through doing some rolling and stuff for new Transformers. So, here, I'm working on uh, leveling up Slug, and it's taken me a lot. Look at his stats. Slug is just awesome. Now, going to have to save up. To be able to get to this 85,000 energon took me quite a while uh, you know a couple days to get that saved up but not a problem once you get it out of the way then you're good to go here I am rolling for new transformers and look who I picked up I picked up Prowl now if you guys are uh, fans of, of Autobots transformers all the way from the beginning Prowl is one of the original Autobots and uh, you know I was really happy to be able to pick him up just totally stoked to have him on my squad. So uh, taking a look at his stats real quick, he's doing 27.2 DPS damage per second, uh, 221 health, pretty average health, maybe actually a little bit low. His speed is 1.8, but he is long range gunner. And he has a rocket barrage, really, really helpful. Endlessly patient, calm, and cool under pressure. It's these very qualities that make Prowl something of a frustrating enigma to his fellow Autobots. People just don't understand him. He's really calm, really patient, and I'm, I'm just happy to have him on the squad. Now, Skydive. Acid bombs, dropping six acid bombs on a target, doing 244 damage over 10 seconds. DPS, 31.3, and health is 325. So a little bit a little bit higher than average. And uh, Skydive, studious and thoughtful. Skydive. Knows more about air tactics than all of the other aerial bots put together. Now, when I read that, it reminded me, yes, aerial bots. I remember when they introduced flying Autobots, the aerial bots, because uh, Autobots didn't have any air support, so they had to introduce some aerial bots. Storm Clash is another one of the aerial bots, and uh, Storm Clash is actually a twin sister with Skyburst. She's the more uh, vengeful, more, uh, you know, active... I guess you could say, of, of the two. But, you know, she's definitely awesome to have on the squad. Now, Prowl, take a look at his look, man. I love the way he transforms. I've always loved his look. His doors have always opened up like that, sort of give him a look of having, like, wings or something. And when he's transformed, take a look at him, man. He's pretty sweet. You know, I, I love that modern, uh, you know, cop car type of a look that they gave him. Really sweet. Really sweet, uh, you know, Transformer. I love the way he, he looks. And, you know, he's definitely effective. He's long-range gunner. So I'm working on bringing him up so I can get him at least in my second squad. Probably won't have him in the first squad right now because I'm loving what I'm using right now. We're going to be going over that in some of the future episodes. We'll be talking about that, uh, you know, what squads that I'm using and, you know, what I would recommend. Look at Skydive. He really, really looks great. I love the way he looks. I like that, uh, you know, golden, that red, and the black. It just really all goes together really good. So here I am opening up some more crystals. And let's see what I can get out of this. I got a duplicate. Not really too mad because it gives me some spark. Gives me some uh, two-star shards. So, you know, not mad about that, but always want to see something new. And then I'm opening up my special crystal. And what do I get? Yeah, you know, I got... Bumblebee, got him unlocked. Bumblebee is awesome, guys. I am telling you to push in campaign. You need to get there to get Bumblebee because he is truly amazing. Uh, they give you a two-star Bumblebee, so something to work with. Bots in the special class are highly individual fighters with special capabilities. This bot can disable defenses and dodge projectiles from mortars and cannons. You hear that? He can dodge, and you'll see when he's in action. He's out there dodging stuff. He's doing 33% attack damage every second, and that's for six seconds. He's stunning stuff with the EMP for six seconds and, and doing 33 uh, damage per second. So, I mean, it's pretty pretty OP. You guys want to go ahead and get, get push on through the campaign so you can get to Bumblebee because he is a necessity. If you're really being able to want to try and push, get more medals, and, you know, just make your crew stronger. And look at him. He has an awesome look. I love it. I really do, man. I, I like it. It's, uh, you know, he's really small. You'll notice that when you get him on the battlefield with other bots, he is just, you know, a little guy out there. But he does a lot of damage. You're going to see him hopping around and, and dodging mortar shells and, and cannons and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, it's awesome. 
You guys have to keep on pushing. Get him unlocked. Look at that. He pulls out his gun, waves it around. Who wants some? Comes out with that kick, high kick, pulls out the gun. I love it. I really love his look. Really happy to have him on my squad. So, you know, what you got to do is just keep on pushing. We're going to keep on working. I'm going to, you know, show you guys in some of the future episodes different base designs that might be able to help you. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep on going over different things to help you out. And uh, you got to just keep on pushing. 85,000 Energon to take these guys to the next level. So keep on stacking. Keep on grinding. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, Galaxis out.